What's going on guys, Super Insane 18 here with part two of our three part Fire King video series. Last time we did a Sinful Spoils deck profile, this time we're going to do a Tri Brigade deck profile for Fire Kings as well, and on Friday we are going to have a combo video encompassing both versions, so make sure you guys are ready for that. Let's go ahead and show you guys the build. So for the most part, the Fire King engine is going to be pretty much unchanged. We do have one change, which I will talk about when we get there. We still have our three copies of Legendary Fire King Ponyx. It is the heart and soul of the deck. We have our two copies of the Sacred Fire King Garunix. This card is just insane and it actually has quite a bit of synergy with the Tri Brigade engine, which we will talk about a little bit later. Uh, we still have our three copies of Kieran because we want to be able to quick effect destroy things as well as being able to reborn things if it is destroyed. Uh, and then the change that we have is we are only on one copy of the Arvada. Now, unfortunately, the normal summon is a little bit more important in this variant, so we can't really have the luxury of just being able to normal summon an Arvada, so unfortunately, putting it to, uh, one just made the most sense. We still have our one copy of Rangbali and our one copy of Barong. Barong is a little bit more important in this variant than it was in the Sinful Spoils variant, because this is 9 times out of 10 what you're actually going to be destroying. Using the Tri Brigade engine, we don't typically have a lot of Fire Kings in our graveyard, so on the summon of Garunix, we're not going to destroy the Kirin, we're going to search the Barong, that way we can actually search for the Kirin on the next standby and have it as a potential interruption by destroying something else. That's going to be it for the Fire King monsters. We do have a Tri Brigade lineup. We are on three copies of Tri Brigade Kit, and this is by far the most important one. And the reason for that is because it's actually a fire. So when I said that the Garunix had synergy, what you can do is you can actually pop this off of Fire King Island to then search the Garunix, and then you'll be able to activate both the Kit and the Garunix in the chain order of your choosing. Getting both effects, the Kit will then be able to obviously dump your other Tri Brigade cards, which can gain you searches, and you'll just be able to establish establish a relatively big board from there. We do also have our three copies of Fractal. Again, this is just really important for the Tri Brigade engine, but not just that, it is also a fire, so that is kind of just synergy in and of itself. We then have our one copy of Nerval and our one copy of Karis. Karis is definitely one that I have considered bumping to two because it is just a special summon by discarding any of the Tri Beast types, and obviously the Fire Kings are those types. Um, but I just didn't really have room for it right now. There is one card that, a little bit in contention that I might consider replacing for another Karis, uh, but for now, this is the ratio that I've been testing, and it's been working wonders. We then have our hand traps with our three copies of Ash Blossom and our three copies of Droll and Lockbird. That just is pretty much a standard for this format. Uh, On to the spells, we do still have our three copies of Fire King Sanctuary. This is just a ridiculously good card, so you can't really cut it. We have our two copies of Fire King Island being incredibly searchable off the Sanctuary and the Sanctuary being incredibly searchable off the Ponyx. You don't really need to max out on this ratio. Uh, then we do have our one copy of Skyburn. This is the card that I said I might replace, uh, and if I do, it will probably be a second Keras. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of this card in this particular deck because you don't usually end uh, with a way of setting up a lot of Fire Kings. Uh, usually you'll just be able to make the Xyz Garunix play, um, and then that will nuke the board, and then I guess you can get one more destruction, uh, but it just doesn't really feel as potent, so might consider replacing that. We are playing three copies of Tanky. Now, in the Sinful Spoils build, we only played two of these because we didn't want to lose to Droll. Unfortunately, that is just kind of a weakness of this deck. You want to max out on the Tanky because you have the Fractal, and Fractal is almost a one card combo you guys will see when i do the combo video but uh definitely worth playing three of these as opposed to the two we played in the last build we are on two copies of triple tactics talent this is just really good right now for the format because it is a very hand trap heavy format if you saw any of the profiles from ycs that happened over this past weekend uh you'll see that a lot of decks were on nine hand traps give or take uh so definitely a really good meta call 
uh, we do have our one copy of Tri Brigade Revolt. This is searchable interruption that we can make through our combo, obviously being able to summon Shireg, which will banish a card our opponent controls, and get us a bunch of effects of whatever Tri Brigades are sent to Grave as well, so just a really good option. And then finishing off the main deck, we have three copies of Infinite Impermanence, putting us at 40 cards. Let's show you guys the extra. The extra deck for this is going to look very different from the last one, and that is because with the Tri Brigade engine, we are going to be playing a lot more of a Link-heavy extra deck because obviously the Tri Brigades are best at their ability to sort of pseudo cheat out links. So we only have two Ixies monsters. That is going to be the one copy of Garunix. You don't really ever need more than one of these. Once you resolve one of these, it's usually just game anyway. And of course, the one copy of Typhon is just there for those niche scenarios where you might need it. On to the Tri Brigade Link monsters. We obviously have our one copy of Bear Brum and our one copy of Ferrigeet. These are just basic utility for the Tri Brigade engine. And obviously you can get a little bit fancy with it because this can just summon any of the Tri Beasts. So if you have something like the Arvada, you can just go ahead and special summon it out and add it to your end board as well. We have our two copies of Shireg, the Ominous Omen. The reason we're playing two of this is because there are some combos that force you to burn one on your turn one just to be able to get that search, because for those of you that don't know, when this is sent to the graveyard, you can search for a Tri-Beast whose level is equal to the number that you have banished, uh, so you'll just be able to get pretty much a free search, um, and sometimes you just have to do it. So onto the Link ones that are just generic, we obviously have the Lightheart because it is a Beast Warrior, and the Tri Brigades do lock you into only using Beast Warriors, or the Tri Beasts rather, uh, as Link material, so having a one of that you can cheat out is really, really good. Uh, we have our one copy of Salamangrate Almirage. This is just in case you open up like nothing but kit and you have to link it away. You can go ahead and send the Nerval, Nerval get Karis, so on and so forth, and pretty much just get you into combo when you wouldn't otherwise have it. Uh, onto the Link 2s, we have a one copy of Ancient Warrior's Oath Double Dragon Lords. This is just really good and solid interruption. And of course, the one copy of SP Little Knight. This is just pretty much the staple card of the format. This card is absolutely crazy. Uh, we do play one of the Desperate Doom Eagle. I will not attempt to pronounce that first word there. Um, but this is really good not only as a Link 3 to help you climb up into something like an access code, but it can even be useful in certain niche matchups that need their graveyard because you're able to target a card in graveyard and shuffle it back into the deck so it just kind of gets you a little bit of extra interruption that you might need we have our one copy of access code talker this is just an otk button our one copy of the appaloosa because this is what we want to try and put on our end board as additional interruptions and our one copy of zelantis zelantis is really important for this deck because as i mentioned with the sure egg sometimes you're forced to make a sure egg turn one and this is how you're going to get it into graveyard by just linking it off into the zelantis because zelantis can be made just with only one monster so a link four into a link four it gets you your search off your sure egg and the final card we have in our extra deck is going to be the underworld goddess this this is just to hand the, handle those tower-esque monsters that we otherwise wouldn't be able to handle, and it's relatively easy to spam our field, giving us enough materials to make it using one of our opponent's monsters as well. And there you guys have it, that is going to be my Tri Brigade Fire King deck profile. This is actually my preferred variant of the deck. Now that's not to say that this deck is necessarily better, I'm personally not sure which of the two variants is the stronger option, this is just the one that more so fits my playstyle. So remember I am doing a all-encompassing combo video for both the Sinful Spoils and the Tri Brigade versions of this deck within a couple of days, it should be Friday from the time that this video is being uploaded, so make sure you're ready for that. If you guys liked it, you know the deal, make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell, like, comment, share with your friends. As always, don't forget to check out the channel sponsored Dueling Guard using code INSANE18. You can get 5% off your entire order. And we do actually have another channel sponsor now, and that is going to be Whatnot, the live streaming auction site. You can go ahead and sign up with my link down below, and it will help out the channel, so it would be vastly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.